welcome to my house, welcome to my channel. Um, today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna show you some of my very favorites. Um, we're in the living room right now, but I'm going to show you not only little trinkets and cosmetics and things, I'm gonna show you my She Shed, which is absolutely one of my favorites. And let's just go take a look now. Okay, you guys, so here we are. This is my little humble getaway. Um, this is where I like to come. This is actually where I do all my filming when I do my purse sales and things like that um, Yeah, this is my little special area. It's actually like a little living room This plant is not my favorite because it sheds like crazy <laughs> but um, Cushion's a little bit messed up, but I just purchased this little love pillow not too long ago and I absolutely love it with the little dog paw. I think it's absolutely adorable. Let's move my little stuff here. It's lived in, so everything's not perfect in here. Um, that's where I attach my camera when I'm doing my purse videos. And then I love this little wall tapestry up here. And then if you come around, you'll see my little sofa area is right here with my favorite colors, which are pinks and whites and... You know, it's just, I love a really, really homey look. This is the new pink chair that I just got at Ross. And I absolutely love the way it looks in here. Um, I have, let's see, blankets. These shelves back here are shelves that my father built. Gosh, I was just a little girl. So of course they're staying in here. And this pumpkin back here is something that I have just loved forever. I got it probably five years ago at like a TJ Maxx or something. And it's so perfect for fall and little touches of me. I love country. Um, so there's my little pink cowgirl hat, cowboy hat. I thrifted these really cute little flowers. They were brand new at the Goodwill not too long ago. And then back behind my sofa is just a little area that I've, let me take you off there. It's just a little area that I've decorated. It's a little table behind the sofa. Let me back up a little bit. Come out here, maybe you guys can see this better. But yeah, this is actually a bedroom. And after Krista moved out, it was her bedroom. When she moved out, I decided to make it my own little filming space. And if I just wanna get away from the world, this is where I come. Uh, Randy and I just purchased this at Burlington Coat Factory and it couldn't be more perfect. It says, follow your heart, stay humble, be kind, play all day, hope, dream, wish, live, love, laugh. So that's just over the little chair here. If I can back up and get to this angle over here for you guys. So this is what this looks like. And then I love these little um, fur cow stools. I absolutely love them. So I've had these for a while and I got them at Ross. So I have two of them and that one's got my little plant on it right here. That's just the closet. That's the mirrored wardrobe, a little tiny closet. It's not big at all. And then here's a little table. Hubby bought me some special things yesterday <laughs> as Victoria's Secret. And my little, let me turn the lamp off and you guys can see it's my little sparkle sequin lamp. It's very girly in here, hold on guys. There we go. So it's just a little sparkle sequin lamp. And I have my little welcome cow, my cup of coffee and my water. So yeah, it's very, It's this is just very comfortable space where I like to come when I wanna just be alone or film or whatever and something that i want to mention as my favorites i'm not a cincy girl whatsoever so i found this warmer at savers for like 3.99 check out your thrift stores and this in here i have tried cincy there's no difference this is a walmart brand um, it's called cotton candy cloud it smells amazing and it's like 99 cents for um, six six squares it lasts just fine, and I just wanna let you guys know if you want to save money, stay away from Scentsy because it is very expensive for what you get. On my shelves back here, I have my mom and some pumpkins, and then going down, I've got me and my daughter and just some little extra decor. There's my chicken purse, you guys, down there in her little 
basket. So yeah, now we'll just go ahead and get on with all of my other little goodies. All right, so I have um, my favorite bag that I'm using at the moment, my favorite shoes, my favorite uh, makeup items, my favorite scent that I'm wearing, all sorts of little things, snacks, yeah. So this is actually all kinds of things, most, not most, but some of them here you guys have asked me, hey, what's your favorite this, what's your favorite that? So that's everything that I've compiled here. And we're gonna go ahead and show you. So why don't we just go ahead and start off with my favorite snack. If you guys haven't tried these before, they are awesome. Um, I don't eat a lot of a lot of sugar. I can't have sugar, not a lot of it. So this is like super low in sugar and it takes a place if you're really in the mood for a cake or a cupcake or something like that, except the calories are way less. It's 230, 230 calories in one. So on an occasion after you know dinner later on in the evening or maybe even in the morning when I get up if I just wanna grab and go, I get these, they're called conchas, and they're a Mexican sweet bread. And they're absolutely delicious. You can just get them at your local grocery store. The sugar grams in it is, I think they're like five grams, because I don't eat anything over, wait, let me see. I'm sorry, there's nine grams, because I don't eat anything at one time over nine grams of sugar. So I know you guys are asking me sometimes how I stay the weight I'm at. I do work out, um, not a lot, but I do try to get my exercise in and I don't go to a gym. I just do a lot of uh, walking and basically that's it. A lot, a lot of walking. Um, I'm not a gym rat whatsoever. I don't like to work out, but I do eat very small amounts, um, two to three times a day. And I don't pick and snack. Um, I don't drink any sugary sodas. I drink a lot of water, but my one splurge every single day that I have to have is my coffee. And you guys have seen my little coffee cup here. I know I collect Redone, but this is what I drink my coffee out of. And it actually lasts me a half a day. So I will drink this cup of coffee. Um, it probably lasts till like, let's see, I start maybe six or seven in the morning and it probably lasts till 11 or 12 in the afternoon. And then from then on, until I go to bed at night, 10, 10.30, I constantly drink water. So this is what my makes my coffee so delicious is these skinny syrups. There's zero sugar in these skinny syrups and I'm sure you've seen Randy and I, we, buy them all the time when we're at Ross, or not Ross, but TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They are $3.99, and this one's mocha. They come in all sorts of flavors, and they are completely worth it, and there's no calories. So that's where I get my sweets from. I'm that kind of girl who wants a little bit of coffee with her creamer. So also I put in some sugar-free vanilla creamer, and yeah. So I'm very, very, very low sugar, you guys. Very low sugar on a daily. Um, so that's kind of it for this. my very favorite snacks and my coffee is my indulgence. That's besides Del Taco on, a, on an occasion because homegirl's gotta have her Del Taco at least once a week and I get a bean rice and cheese. No, I don't. I get a uh, bean rice and cheese burrito. No, I get the, uh, yeah. What do I get there, you guys? The jacked up, the jacked up BRC, that's what it is. Beans, rice, and cheese, they're very little. I think they're like 89 or 99 cents, and it comes with green sauce, and that's what I'll eat. That would be my lunch when I'm splurging. Okay, so my favorite scent right now is this. Oh, I love this so much. It's from Bath & Body Works. It's called In The Sun, and it's very beach. It smells like a sunshiny, fantastic day at the beach with your sunblock on and the waves crashing and the wind blowing and that's the only way I can describe it. I got this on clearance. It was like 75% off not too long ago and I doused myself in it because it smells amazing. So if you want this, it's called In the Sun um, Bath and Body Works. Love it. 
Okay, now for my very, let's do my, let's do my hair stuff because I have people asking me all the time what my hairstyle is called. It's called short. What the color is called, it's called bleach my blonde. You guys, I don't have a style name. I don't have a specific color. I literally go into my hairdresser. I say, this is what I want cut it like that, this is the color I want, color it like that. And because I'm a natural blonde, it makes it really, really easy to lift. And that's how I get my color. And I'm so sorry, I don't have the name, I don't know if this is a pixie cut, I don't know if it's just a sh chopped my hair, this is how it turns out when I style it cut. Um, but yeah, this is what I have for my cut. And I wish I had information to give you all i can say is if you really want it you could screenshot it and take it to your hairdresser it's perfectly fine with me um but this is what i use for my hair so my favorite thing my favorite shampoo is this john frida's brighten up um for shimmering blonde it's sheer blonde shampoo highlight activating and i just get it at walmart I can't remember what I paid for it, but it's not expensive. Um, you know, if you go to Ulta and stuff, you're gonna pay a whole lot of money. But I haven't found that really expensive things that the salon has suggested for me to use is any different than just going to your local Target or Walmart or whatever. So I highly recommend for you blondies out there, if you wanna take the doll out or get more of a highlighted blonde, try this. And there's different shades, so you wanna get the lightest one, which is the Brightening Highlight Activating, okay? By John Frieda. Then, um, because my hair is bleached, I like to put on, this is new to me, and I tried it, and I really like it. This is a hair mask, it's by Hemp's, H-E-M-P-Z, Pure Herbal Extract. It's original herbal deep conditioner and hydrating hair mask for damaged hair. Now, my hair isn't necessarily damaged, but how much worse is it gonna be to put on something for damaged hair and just make your hair twice as wonderful, right? <laughs> I don't know. But here it is, it's by Hemp's. I did get this at Ulta. It's very small and it is expensive. I think I paid $13.99 for this little, this little thing here. Um, I've used it twice already and there's still quite a bit left, but what I do is after I wash my hair with the blonde, I just rinse it out and then I put this in my hair for five to 10 minutes while I'm in my shower, you know, shaving, washing up. Keep it in your hair for like five to 10 minutes. I keep it in 10. Rinse it out and blow dry your hair. Then once your hair is blow dried and you style it how you like it, this is my favorite um, hairspray. It's just Tresemme and it's a climate protection hold for all hair types hairspray from Walmart. So again, nothing fancy, it's inexpensive, um, and I like it. So it's great for humidity and, you know, I have very wavy hair, believe it or not, so this keeps my hair from frizzing up. And when you have bleached hair, it if, you, if your hair is uh, unhealthy, it's gonna frizz. So you wanna do everything you can to keep that frizz of my tiz out, cause ain't nothing pretty about a frizzy blonde mess. Okay, so that's my hair stuff, you guys. Um, my hair stuff, my snacks, my favorite spray at the moment. This, I can't live without. I have shown you guys this before and I will never ever not use it as long as I can afford it, which it's not expensive, it's like $10 for this banana. And this is a banana sleeping pack by, oh no, by, Oh, Tony Moly. That's right. It's Tony Moly. Now they have hand lotion that looks just like this, but this is the sleeping pack. So every night, I literally, I just use baby wipes to take off my makeup, and then I slather my face, my chin, and my neck in this, and it smells. If you like bananas, you guys, it is so, so good. So it's the Tony Moly. Um, I used to get it at my Nordstrom's rack, but they never have it anymore, so I just go on eBay and buy it, and it lasts a long time. So that's my very favorite face um, cream. And I use it in the morning also when I get up, I put it un as a moisturizer underneath my makeup. So now we're gonna get onto the makeup, okay? My very, very favorite foundation 
And the reason I like this is because it's got great coverage. It doesn't sink into the wrinkles, yet you can still see my skin through it. Does that make sense? So this is number seven, and number seven is only sold at Target. This is the one I really, really like a lot. I am a repurchaser three or four times of this. It's Triple Action Serum Foundation, sunscreen, broad spectrum, SPF 15, suitable for sensitive skin. And I think it's about 15 or $20, something like that. And my color is, I don't know. My color is this. <laughs> I know, right? So go to your Target. It's the only place that sells it, and it's by number seven. Alrighty. And it's not matte. It actually, it's not matte, and it's not luminous. It's like right in between, and I think that's really why I love it, because I don't look like a, you know, a glow sickle when I wear it. So, um, you guys, I once in a while like a little bit of highlighter on my cheeks maybe a little bit on my nose, but I'm not, I don't have any favorites on that because um, I'm getting older, my skin is aging, it's natural, it's a part of getting older, and personally, I don't wanna highlight all of my smile wrinkles and stuff because you guys can see them really good without. So I don't have any highlighters to show, it's not my thing. I do use it once in a great while, maybe like I said, if I'm going out somewhere real special just on my nose or maybe a little bit here, but that's the only place I would use it. Okay, so my favorite, and this has been my favorite for years now, my uh, mascara and my Jane Ir Iredell Pure Lash Lash Extender Conditioner. I am a true believer of this. I've repurchased this four or five times. You can get it at um, any beauty supply and it really, really lengthens and conditions your lashes. When I pulled my lashes out, you guys, from those stupid falsies that I had, I don't know if you guys can see, let me get close. But these are my real lashes. Can you guys see? I don't know. I don't know how to do that. But they're my real lashes, and these just lengthen them. And then my very, very, very favorite lash mascara is this Maybelline Lash Sensational in black. And you can get it anywhere, Target, Walmart, Ulta. So this is what I use on my lashes, and I will continue to use this until something better comes out, which it won't. Because for me, this is my holy grail eyelash kit. No falsies, unless like I, you know, I'm going out to a party or something really cool. I don't wanna have that shit hanging off my eyeballs, worrying, you know, if it's, no, it ain't my thing. Less is more, okay? Lippy, my favorite lippy at the moment is what I'm wearing, and it's these two right here. So this lip liner is by, um, Hello, hello, Rimmel, Rimmel London, and it's an 049 natural. It's a very nude natural liner. Love it. One of my very favorites. Inexpensive. And then my favorite lipstick that I wear with it is this Maybelline's 915 in blushed beige. So excuse me, got an itchy nose. It's not like a really white light color. It's got more of a blushy, it's a blushy nude. You guys can see. And it looks super, super good with the liner because the liner I'm wearing is just, it's just a tad bit darker. And these two together look really, really good together. So that is my favorite lip liner and my favorite lipstick. Now we will get on to my favorite shoes, you guys. So I've always bought knockoff, not knockoff, but like Madden girls and stuff. But I went and I invested in a real pair of Birkenstocks. Okay, here they are. Um, if you wanna know, I'm a size 36 in these, which is a size six. And these are expensive, I'm not gonna lie. But I wear them every single day. Um, Everybody has seen Birkenstocks. I do not regret this purchase. They fit my feet like a glove 
and I think they were about 160 bucks. I got them at the mall, brand new. I didn't thrift them. <laughs> I actually spent real money on myself, but um, they're like, a, the leather is, is like that raw leather look and it scratches and that's, see how it scratches? I like that. I like it. So these are my favorite, favorite shoes, my Birkenstocks, and I'm so excited I actually own a pair now. Um, okay, now I'm gonna get to you my bag. I went to, you guys already saw my video, I went to, or did you see it? I can't think. It's when I was looking for the perfect backpack purse, okay? So I told you guys that I'm really, really into backpack purses now. Um, they just feel comfortable. And I just like being comfortable when I'm out constantly vlogging. I need hands free. Um, but I had some very, very, very specifics this time. Instead of just going, oh, that's cute, I'm gonna get it. I didn't do that. I looked and I looked and I looked and it actually took me a while to find this one. But I found it. I had to have black. I had to have no emblems. Like I didn't want the little Michael Kors, whatever, any type of emblems all over the bag. It had to have silver hardware. It had to have padded straps. It had to be medium size. It must have a pocket on the front and on the back and on the inside it had to have um, pockets and it had to have some sort of like little extra splash of something on it like what I got. So what I found was this is perfect for me you guys. This is a Rebecca Minkoff black smooth pebbled leather backpack and I love the studs on the front. That's what I meant by I wanted something extra on it that's not just plain. Um, it had to be medium size, not too large. Oh, and another thing, it had to fit flat against my back. I have a really hard time, like when I wear backpacks, they go like this. So there's like all this space in between my back and my the straps, and I hate that. So I put this on and it fits flush against my back, which is what I love. Um, it had to have a handle on it here, so when I wanna go, you know, with it on my arm or something, I can. The straps had to be padded, which they are. I wanted leather, I didn't want anything except for leather because I wanted to really treat myself to like the one, the only backpack that's going to really work, not hurt my shoulders because a lot of the ones I've purchased have. Um, it's got the great zipper in the back, which is where I wanna carry my wallet and my cell phone for safety. But what I really, really love is it's got this flap over the zipper that you have to pull up before you unzip it because it's great for safety as well. And it's got this great zipper pull and then inside has just what I need when it comes to the pockets with a pocket here. And then just, it's got a couple slip pockets in front of that. Um, yeah, this is exactly what I was looking for, and I'm super excited I found it. I did find it at Nordstrom's Rack yesterday, so I went ahead and I bought it. I paid a good amount for it, but it was absolutely worth it. It's gonna last me for years and years to come, says Rebecca Minkoff here. And yeah, that's, for me, this is the perfect backpack purse. Okay, so I have that. That's my favorite purse. And I've had so many people ask me how I clean my bags. Okay, please do not, let's see, how do I say this? Please do not go try this on your stuff. I'm just saying what I like because if you use it and come back to me and say, Kim, I tried it and it fucked up my stuff, I'm gonna be pissed, okay? So this is what I use for my leather, okay? It's a gold, it's by Gold Class. It's from Walmart or no, it's from Target. Um, it's by M-E-G-U-I-A-R-S. This is what I use to clean and condition my leather. And it depends on the leather that I'm using. Like this, I would use it on. Raw leather, absolutely not. It would stain it. So, that's what I use, okay? And then on my plastic or PVC or vegan, whatever, I use baby wipes, I use OxyClean, I use my detergent it all depends on the bag it depends on the material so please do not take my advice do not use it 
because it's very, very easy to mess up leathers and vegan leathers and colors. It's super easy and I am no way a professional and just do what you feel is right or take it to somebody who does. Don't follow my instructions. But that's what I use, you guys. You guys wanted to know that's what I use. So that's it for today. That's my favorite. Um, I think that's quite a lot for now. So I hope you enjoyed my little she shed. I switched it around in here and I like it much better. It feels more living roomish to me and comfortable. And I hope all of you guys are having a really fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this video. And we are going to be going live just to chit chat and have some girl time. And I love the person who recommended Coffee with Kim. I think that's what we're going to go with. We're going to call it Coffee with Kim. We're going to do some lives, drinking coffee, and just have some girl chat. All right, you guys. So until I see you on tomorrow's video, stay humble, stay kind, and I love you all. Bye. Mwah.